Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts, and today guys, I'll be reacting to the Marvel Avengers Academy launch trailer. Now, the reason why I'm reacting to this is because I heard about this a couple of months ago, or whenever it was announced, and I saw and was reading about it a little bit, going, it's interesting, but I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Now, a launch trailer has been released online from Marvel Entertainment on their YouTube channel, so without further ado... Let's see what it's all about. They might give a little bit of details. I'm just curious to know what it will look like and all that kind of stuff. Because I know it's a mobile game. I'm just curious to know what exactly it is. Because, I mean, it just it's very interesting and different, but who knows. Anyways, let's jump into it now. Let's see what it's all about. Marvel Avengers Academy launch trailer. Let's go. Welcome, students. I'm Director Nick Fury. And hmm. this... Okay. Thor. Okay. Oh. By working together as a team. Soon, you'll forge friendships to last a lifetime. So, perfect your power, students, I guess, and become the hero you were meant to be. <laughs> Class is in session. Now, go show the world what it means to be an Avenger. Avengers Academy. Download for free. Hmm. Well. <laughs> um, looks interesting. Uh, okay, so they're all students in a sense. And Nick Fury, I guess, is the dean or the uh, president, I don't know, of the Academy. I mean, he was the voiceover and he seemed like the actual adult compared to all the other Avengers, which are teens. The Hulk, uh, still with no shirt on, but he has purple pants, but they're like nice and he have shoes on or something i think i saw he had shoes on um and this is going to be i guess kind of based off of the at least the marvel cinematic universe uh not saying it's all connected i'm just saying like the the characters we were shown were from the marvel cinematic universe movie i didn't see any characters from fox's side or even spider-man i mean i guess they could now because he's in the universe but uh I don't know. I don't know what to feel about this. I mean, because when you really think about it and you look at all the games Marvel has done, like mobile wise and all this kind of stuff, there's been some good ones. There's like Marvel Fights and Marvel uh, something uh, 2016 that they, uh, uh, Marvel Heroes, there it is. It's one of the um, recommended game, uh, recommended videos after this one was finished. Marvel Heroes, Marvel, uh, Marvel Fights or something like that on mobile and they're pretty good for what they are but when you really think about it marvel hasn't done a like next gen current gen video game like an xbox one ps4 pc game or whatever that's like you know besides lego it's they haven't really done a game like that like an actual game where people can play and switch between characters i mean they did it back in the a couple of years ago back in the day essentially compared to my day like early 2000s something like that but they've not done a real Marvel game based off of the movies, like the cinematic universe. They've done mobile games and they've added, and they're able to add in different characters outside of the cinematic universe and the Marvel heroes and the mobile games and all that kind of stuff. But to me, I don't know. Is this thing, is this thing going to flop? Maybe. I mean, it just, it looks really childish. And I think people really want to see a, a really serious game based off of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that's not mobile, and they haven't done it. So the fact that they're doing this, I don't know. Are they running out of ideas? Maybe. Uh, or maybe it was just an idea that they thought of that, well, maybe this will work in a sense because it's going to be different than the other mobile games. But I'm thinking, just you have all this money that you've made off your Marvel Cinematic Universe films. Put it towards a company that will make a genuine serious type game based off of in the in your own universe and then make it work make it where you can switch between characters and make it worth our while you know um but they're really focused on mobile now you know some people like it 
for me, I mean, I'm okay with it. I just wish that they would actually put a lot of put some effort into producing a actual serious Xbox One, PS4, PC game that people can play, and it's multi character and all that kind of stuff. Third person, first person. I would say third person. It makes a lot of sense for you to see, see you can see the characters you're playing as. And there you go. I mean, they could do it. I just don't know why they haven't. Uh, maybe it's licensing, licensing with Disney. I don't know. Disney should be able to figure it out, you would think. So anyways, my thoughts about this, I don't know. That was that, To me, that, that doesn't look like actual in-game footage. It looks like just like, yeah, this is um, this is our game, and this is kind of the cinematics and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I mean, it's just a... Another mobile game that may or may fail. I don't know. It just it just looks it looks different than the other games they've done on mobile. But other than that, I mean, it's just um, kind of kiddish. So that's my thoughts about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. What do you think about this trailer? What do you think about this game in general? This idea. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you feel the same way I do? Do you actually like it? Do you hate it? Whatever. Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching my video. Peace out.